Welcome back. This is one of the most important sections, small section but important. And this is all about your preparations, your rehearsals. When everything is ready, how do you re uh, rehearse? And this is not only for your first speech, for your subsequent speeches as well. Okay? Let's quickly look at these. All right, speech rehearsals, importance and processes. Okay. And this is uh, applicable, as I told you, for first speech that you give, for subsequent speeches, for the 100th, 200th, how many ever speeches you want to give. The process remains the same. Okay. You can practice your public speaking skills to determine what works best. Let's say for the first time you are giving the speech, you have to practice. And you've already evaluated yourself and you want to rework on your weaknesses or shortcomings. This is going to help. All right. You can practice more difficult parts of your speech to ease the delivery. Now, you cannot keep on practicing the entire thing. If you once or twice, you will have to. But then there are certain areas which need more focus on. It could be, let's say, your uh, the area of verbal communication. It could be the area of non-verbal communication. It could be the area of, let's say, the content or some important uh, main ideas that you would like to uh, talk about. So you have to take, pick and choose which area you need to practice more. In whole, you will have to practice your entire speech, but which is the area you need to focus more on, you will practice on that. And you, what you will have to do before this is, do some mock speeches. How will you do uh, mock speeches? You will uh, make your parents, your siblings, your friends, your audience, and tell your speech time and again. Keep on delivering your speech to them. Let them become your audience, and they are going to give you critical feedback. So do these mock uh, speeches in front of your audience, your mock audience, and take feedback from them. And this is also a part of evaluation. Though you must have not given the speech yet, but you have delivered a mock speech, and you want to know where have you gone wrong. And they are going to give you, I had told this uh, in previous sections also, your friends, family, your siblings, they are going to give you a critical feedback. They are going to give you the right feedback and the areas you need to work upon. Then. You need to follow certain steps here. Read your speech aloud and stand in front of a mirror and read your speech aloud as loud as possible. Because the more you the more you uh, see yourself, or sorry, hear yourself speaking, you will understand which are the words which I'm pronouncing correctly, mispronouncing, so on and so forth. And the more you hear, the more you memorize. So you will have to read out your speech loudly in front of the mirror and, if if possible, in front of your mock audience. Step two, record yourself or stand in front of the mirror and see how you look. Are you playing with your hair? Okay. Are you speaking too fast? Are you speaking too slow? Are you using mm, er, oh, all these, you know, uh, speak, do all these at your, in your speech? You are taking pauses, not taking pauses, no eye contact, talking too low, mumbling, loudness, all these things you can evaluate yourself on and watch yourself while you speak, okay? Now, you have identified where all you have gone wrong, okay? And this is mock speech that I'm talking about. Where all you have gone wrong, work on that. Your speech rate, diction, how you're uh, pronouncing the word, how you are uttering the word, that you have to work on. At times when you are nervous, you tend to breathe very high. Okay, so check your breathing speed, assess vocal tone, um, intonations are you using correctly or not, pitch is high or low, is it fast paced, low paced, all these things you'll have to work upon. And this we are fixing if there is any shortcoming. Then monitor your body language, how am I standing, how are my hands, how are my eye contact, all of these. You are now working upon the shortcomings, not all the aspects. So. I will tell you one more thing before we end this section. When you are doing all of these things, though this looks very um, fast paced and very small for you, this is actually going to help you for your final speech, for your further speeches, and also you can help others prepare their speech. And this is very important. You might be having friends, siblings, your um, brothers and sisters who would come to you and ask you that, can you become a mock audience for me? So when you know all of these things, not only you try to become a good speaker, help others to become good speakers too. So this section is not only going to help you, but your friends too. 
And um, with this, we end this entire public speaking section. I mean, the entire lessons that we've gone through. I'm going to reiterate on everything that we have learned. We have realized that in order to become a good speaker, we need certain tools, traits, mantras, secrets, okay? We need to first identify who the audience I'm talking to, where am I going and giving this speech at, what is it that I'm going to talk about, is it going to be a formal setting, an informal setting, Do I, am I actually ready to talk or not? So take into consideration everything, all right? Know your audience, prepare your speech, choose a topic, research on your topic, prepare your speech, use proper dictions, voice, uh, clarity, pronunciation, everything, your hands, body movement, all in all, you become a perfect, perfect speaker. So always remember the three secrets, your content, your communication, and your confidence, and then the three mantras. Whenever you speak, you, your motto is to either connect or express or inspire. With that note, I wish you all the best, and I hope that you will turn out to become awesome, awesome speakers. Thank you very much.